All right. Today, we are going to uh, um, basically um, go over some new stuff we got in the studio here. We've got, um, I've got a little bit of a cold, for one. That's what's new. Um, so I'm a little softer than I normally am. Um, the second thing is we did get a new warm audio centavo in that we're going to go over today. Um, it's kind of a snowy, cold-ish kind of Colorado day. Um, at least it's supposed to be. We'll see what happens. Um, and that's kind of everything that's new. We did get a new Apollo X8 that is in the rack over here. Um, it's, uh, probably hear my dog going through the studio here, but it's in the rack here. It gives us uh, an extra eight ends, so we're rewiring that. And, um, kind of going to go from there. So, uh... As our rent ends here, we'll go into what we're here for today, and that's the Centavo. So the Centavo is just a Klon, basically. It's a Centaur Klon, or Klon Centaur, pedal-esque um, recreation of that. So um, let's just overdrive and um, go through some of the settings here. So uh, let's take a look. All right, so on our Centavo here, we have gain here, treble here, and output. Um, you know, our gain set pretty high and our output's pretty low. We're just kind of, but then it has this, this switch to turn it on and off with an LED light. Um, on the back, it's just, um, there's a mod switch, so you can kind of change how it sounds a little bit, power and in and out. Very, uh, very simple design, kind of like the original Klons. So um, that is the Centavo kind of in a nutshell. Okay, so we've gone through the settings. Um, you can see why we've got it set here. And um, so let's see how we have out sounds. So here is our Vox AC30 clean. It's loud. And that's the humbucker and our single coil together. So nice clean. It could be a little brighter. So a little brighter there. Anyway, so let's, we'll put on the Centavo here, and here's the Centavo in that same configuration. And this is a setting to basically just push the amp lower. So I can go a little higher here. So here we're pushing the amp a little, just a little bit hotter now. So that's kind of it if you're trying to set it as like a boost, um, which you can do. You can set it as a boost. Oh, that's still on. What's going on here? Um, but yeah, you, you you can set it as a boost here and um, kind of just have it drive your tubes a little hotter. Or you can set it as an overdrive. And so we'll start clean here again. Okay, and then we'll go into, no, this is if we're using it as like an overdrive. Output's a little hot. So, that's kind of it, is if you're using overdrive. I like it mainly as an overdrive. Um, it is kind of cool to use it to push tubes a little bit into an amp. Um, you know, go into your tube amp and have it push the volume a little hotter. You can kind of have it do both. Like, I could really just crank the output on this, but I have an AC30 that we're going into that is stinking loud. So, um, that's kind of how, how that works. Um... Um, it's a very simple pedal. Um, it sounds great. I, I'm not entirely sure what all they created in it. There's plenty of videos out there to watch on how um, they created this pedal and what's inside it and all that stuff. Um, that mod switch is really handy. I do like how it sounds with the mod switch on. A little better than with it off. Um, I'm going to kind of go through that here. I'm going to turn the mod switch on. This is with the mod switch on. Now you hear that pop and the mod switch is off. It's a subtle thing, but it seems like there's a little bit more mid-range with it on. So we got 
that back on. So that's just kind of with that mod switch on. I do like the way it sounds. Um, the treble does exactly, everything on this pedal does exactly what it's supposed to do. The treble does like what it does. It basically just gives you a little bit of brightness or darkens things. And the output's obviously your volume and, and, and the gain is your input. So yeah, it sounds really nice. Sounds warm, sounds like something that I could see myself using pretty much every day on stuff. And I probably will for a while just to get used to it. Um, but this uh, particular pedal um, is great. It's 180 bucks, I think, which is super cheap compared to like an original Klon or any of those that are in the thousands now. So um, highly recommend those looking for something like this to get this. So the next thing that I recommend is that you hit like and subscribe to all of our channels. Actually, just the one channel, but to all of our videos on this channel. Um, and if you're really interested and you want to get notifications, hit the bell. It'll give you the notifications um, when we upload new stuff. So um, that's kind of today's video in a nutshell. So, you know, keep making music and we'll see you out there.